from actually being ready for release, and most of the features of the Drupal 7 version have been implemented. Right. Thank you for putting up the sandbox. Right. Have you linked to the uh, the sandbox from the main the main Shibboleth project? I, I did not. Somebody else that Excellent. took a look at it did. So it is in in a comment thread right. on the Shibboleth module, but I don't know if anybody else has downloaded it. Or used it yet. The other thing that, that there's a, especially when you know that there's there's a community of people that that need the same same module, being able to go off and reach out and say, you know, where is the the community that needs this, and who can we try and, and collectively pull the the funds together to see that this brings a, that we can bring this this module up to somewhere that's stable, whether it's it's a, a coalition of major universities that all use this, or whether it's it's um, you know a government institution. Like there's enough organizations that would would need this and are either already um, have already moved to Drupal or are looking to that if, if, if we can try and collectively you know work together it's, it's can save us a hell of a lot of money and resources so yeah. Actually, yeah, and grab my card and harass me um, after and I can because I have uh, a lot of my clients are EDUs so like UNLV Vancouver Island University Cornell um, and University of Michigan and some others, and so they're like a lot of my clients are way into SAML and shit about everything else because they have to, they have to be tunnel back. UCSF, their intranet, like every single session is authenticated. And um, I can quick do an informal poll amongst them to see which are on eight and what they're doing for that solution and get back to you with, with what they're up to if you'd like. Sounds great. Yeah, for sure. Any other modules that, that people are, are hungry for and are waiting to, to go off and, and uh, Either Let's see, I sense an a, a authenticated sign-on theme, like bakery yeah, and, and, like and bakery sprays, which is not that good. And they were asking for some of the maintainer to take over. Yeah. Which uh, is there's there's no fresh buns yeah. in the oven. Get them bumped. Sorry. 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 I mean, I'm more concerned about custom stuff. Mm -hmm. Most of my needs are not going to be met by the larger Drupal community because right. they're just really... PBS television schedules. There's a very small very group of people who are deeply interested in that. And same with like working with PBS's video APIs that are only available to PBS member stations. Right. So I mean, it's it's a very very small group. Um, and I actually spent the whole last week at the PBS Technology Conference, and I've been making connections. There's a PBS Technology, there is a PBS technology I Conference. I want to go to that. It's in Vegas every year. That sounds awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> an interesting location. Last location I would have picked. It is, it is the week before the, the ginormous NAB conference, the National Association of Broadcasters, so that all of the broadcast engineers right. can go to both. But anyway, um, that is beside the point. I've been trying to wrangle other developers at other PBS stations who use Drupal and try to create a community around that, but it's still a very, very, very small group of people. Um, and so that is... If you want to talk about roadblocks to my moving to Drupal 8, those are my roadblocks. I have to have a television schedule. I have to have video. Um, and, and It's all yes. moved to podcast anyway. It's like, you know, it's just it's just pointing to YouTube or video. Don't tell my TV manager for, that. For PBS, because I know for like National Public Radio, for example, mm -hmm. you know, there's sort of a parent corporation organization. And for a while, I don't know if they actually managed to pull us off. They were looking at creating essentially a... A distribution, right? They like did. It was called, like it was called Core Publisher. They are about to sunset it. Okay, they're about to kill it. Yeah. Because they were trying really hard to just be able to be like, you need a NPR station needs a site. Yes, who, and PBS has also created its own CMS called Bento. Right. It is built in Django. It is in. I, I can't. We're being recorded. I can't say what I, my thoughts are on it. You know, um, Python. But it's not. It's not suitable. For, it, it's great okay. for small stations right. who have a staff of ten. Right. For the entire station, right? Um, it's it's not. I, I am a major market station. We have a staff of approximately four hundred. It right. is not suitable. Yeah, for I was my actually needs. more pointing towards that to see whether or not there's like would be a way to get any emphasis in like a, a parent group to go top down. Like, okay, 